Today I'll show you how to install Evangir with QEMU on Ubuntu. Open your browser and visit the website eve-ng.net. Once there, click on the download button at the top of the page. Scroll down to the community version of Evangir. Choose one of the file hosters that offers the OVF file format. Navigate to your downloads folder, right click on the file and extract it. Open a terminal inside the EVNG folder. Next, convert the VMDK file to a QCOW2 file format to run it with QEMU. I need to download some libraries first. I have put the command in the video description. Once the libraries are installed, add your user to the KVM group. And in order for it to work on Ubuntu and some other distributions, we need to run an EVNG integration script. Look for the EVNG integration script. There is a GitHub repository that contains the script. Once you're on the GitHub website, scroll down a bit to find the command to run the script. After the command has run, I'll change the permissions required to run Wireshark. After the command has run, I'll change the permissions required to run Wireshark. Now let's go back to the eve vmdk file. Use the qemu image command to convert the vmdk file to a qcow2 file. I'll call mine eve.qcow2. It's a best practice to resize the image. Use the qemu resize command to do that. After that is done, start the virtual machine manager. On the top left side, there's an icon to create a new virtual machine. It will open up a window. Choose to import an existing disk image. Click on forward and browse to the eve.qcow2 file. Then click on choose volume. At the bottom of the window, there is a search bar to specify the operating system of the file. Search for Ubuntu 22.04. Click on forward and assign CPU and memory settings. Click on finish. It will open up a window with the evng terminal. Use the username root and the password eve to log in. Choose a new password. It won't show any letters when typing. Specify a hostname for the system. It asks you for a few other things like the FQDN and DHCP or static IP configuration. Configure it to your liking or leave it at the defaults. Just hit enter on the last step and it will reboot the machine. Next, open up a browser. The IP address of the EVNG web interface will be shown in the terminal window. Point your browser to this IP address. As you can see, there is a login banner. There is a different account for the web interface. The credentials are admin and eve as the password. Now you are logged in into EVNG. That's it for this tutorial. Bye.